Hello YouTube, welcome to another Wix kitchen installation update and uh, this is probably like the 20th take because I'm quite frankly wound up. Our kitchen started on the well, mid-September 2018 and we're now the end of February 2019, approximately five months of kitchen hell we've endured through Wix. Okay, we've had our complaints ongoing and our complaints are encompassing the whole installation by our fitter, Brendan. I've never mentioned his name before. Brendan, Brendan, Brendan! Probably won't mean much to many people on YouTube because my followers are far and wide. However, the chap installed our kitchen for his price and uh, took on the additional work of dry, well, plastering the kitchen which turned to dry lining because his plasterer said that plaster wouldn't stick to our walls which I find hard to understand so do I many others we have problems with this dry fit of which Wix have sent us uh, hundreds of pounds of replacement parts to be installed by himself because he has to have the chance to rectify his work his bad workmanship before they will let someone else have a go and if they let someone else have their go, then obviously they've lost more money. They should just pay someone else to have a go first place. So anyway, uh, we have trouble with our dry fit. We have problems with his additional work, uh, his plastering come dry lining. And we have problems with his plumbing. Not his first problem with plumbing, I might add. His first problem was a leak under the sink, which he blamed on a old valve. However, he said that he replaced everything with new and he has. Uh, I'm not going to show you photos because I've got to get on the floor again and move the light. The light is in the right place for his most recent fault, which is causing me trouble, stress, anguish, and more kitchen hell from Wix. Let's have a look. This here is what I'd like to call an improvement on his kitchen installation. Okay, so when he took on the kitchen installation, no, from no fault of his own, on the plans it said this kitchen is not square. So after trying to fit the units and failing, he figured out the kitchen was not square. He then had to build uh, some shims to build out a plasterable wall, of which you see one here, which chamfers down to a fine point, which is no longer there. You'll see this detail further over here in more of his poor dry lining skills. Well, this box section here. Now, this is a paid for and finished, finished kitchen, a finished, a fully finished kitchen. Yeah, get this. Look. Look. Rubbish, absolutely rubbish. If we paid for that, rubbish. It doesn't even go full height. I mean, I don't know why. But he also missed this sliver right here, so you can tell that the kitchen chamfers down to a very fine point. But back to his climbing skills. Here we are losing a litre of water every 35 to 45 seconds. Now Wix gave us their blessing to call out emergency plumber because obviously if I cap this point off, we then lose the boiler, hot water, uh, and any washing and uh, bathing facilities. So, you know, it's kind of a no brainer, but the fact that we don't have the emergency plumber in our area or contacts, you know, it's beggar's belief. You know, I'm wasting money there. Wasting money. So, yeah, be honest, five months of kitchen hell, you know, the whole plan was to have the kitchen done, the bathroom done before the little one arrives. Mm -hmm. and uh, we're, we're running out of time you know we can't have the kitchen we can't have the bathroom done because um, oh let's think Brendan the person who was you know doing our kitchen um, didn't have the waste collected uh, until after Christmas you know I can't remember the date but you know I've now lo I lost access to the rear half of my garden so therefore I couldn't rip out the bathroom and have the bathroom people take away the bathroom because they couldn't get access. Thanks, Brendan. Thanks. Thanks, Wix. Brilliant.
he done a smashing job. Fed up, absolutely fed up. The price of a small car I invested in a kitchen and it's been five months of hell. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to go legal on this. I'm gonna have to get some legal advice. If any of you guys have got any comments, suggestions, let me know what you think of the kitchen so far. You know, stick it in the comments. Um, once this is said and done, and we're out of the way, I am going to make sure personally that this chap never fits a kitchen for Wix again. Never. Never.